Hello and welcome to this season one of everything fly fishing. Uh, we got some good things for you today. We're going to show you them how to tie a green drake. And yesterday was the beginning day where kids could fish with the monitor uh, with adult fishing beside them. We got some videos, footage of that. It's just going to be an exciting show. So let's get to it. Let's check that show. And here we go. Get a grip on your bad self. Learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel And pray that the end comes and wails and win its way In the hotel's not alive And the mystery's not the why Oh no, and silk is not the cry This episode is being brought to you by the Rise and Fly Company. Go check them out at www.riseandfly.com and Team Hanging Outdoors. Go check them out on the YouTube now. And Rust Cat Rods. Building, hand building and customizing your rods today. And Gary at the Watsontown Flea Market. If you're in our area, go check out Gary and you can get 5% off your sale now, today, by mentioning our name, Everything Fly Fishing. So go check Gary out at the Watsontown Flea Market. We just saw the Easter Bunny while we were getting uh, gas. And we just thought we'd throw this clip in there for the show. Not a real. <laughs> Don't give up. I got my finger in it. <laughs> wow, I got like a shade there. <laughs> Go, little buddy. Roll it in. I'll show you here in a second while we're filming for up the other hole. They ripped one out this today, baby. Yeah, I was standing there. I got it all. The kid reeling it in and. Number 10 for you. We're done for the day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back out later. I think it's right up till dark, right? Right, and tomorrow, right? I don't think it's tomorrow. I think it's just today. The Green Drake. Here in Pennsylvania, it happens around May 30th. At the end of May, beginning of June. And it's a big hatch. It's one of the biggest hatch, and it's really popular on Penn's Creek, a creek in our area. People come from all over the world and the United States to fish the Green Drake on Penn's Creek. Somebody once asked me, so living here really close to the Penn's Creek, how do you feel about the Green Drake hatch? Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's like a big party when everybody finds out that the green drake is here. Yay, the drake is here. And everybody gets in their car 
packs up their stuff for Memorial Day weekend, and rushes right over to Pennsylvania really quick to my area. Where hundreds of people flock to the water and are all over the side of the water. And that's what I think of the f Queen Drake hatch in Pennsylvania. But on the other hand, it's something that if you haven't ever seen, it is amazing. The big fish go in a feeding frenzy and there is a lot of big fish. Big, big fish caught. So if you come to Pennsylvania, check it out. It is really cool. It is really amazing, amazing thing to see. And if you don't want like the crowds, do what I do. Don't go with the what they call the hive. That's where the main main hatch is going on. I go down below it or above it, and there's still lots of green drakes, and I have a lot of luck with the pattern that we tie on today's episode. I hope you enjoyed that little clip. Now we're gonna get on tying these bad puppies, the green drake. Let's get tying. First thing you want to do is debarb the hook, and please debarb all your hooks. It makes it easier to get out of the fish's mouth, therefore a better release back into the water. And I noticed that this video is a little gr a gritty. I'm sorry about that. It's still in HD. It's just a little gritty because of the white fly we're tying. I needed a darker background, and it makes it a little gritty. We're using a really light green color thread. I'm going to run that back to the bend in the hook and head cement it. We're using a really light green rooster uh, tips, ackle tips I found in my box. Uh, another really good thing that works is a green uh, wood duck. That works really good for the feathers. So you can use that. Now we're going to tie these in. We're going to make these wings a half the length, or two thirds the length of the hook shank. These are our 3X hooks. We want these wings a little bit larger than most dries because the body is a lot bigger. And in proportion, you want the, the wings a little bit longer. Now tie these wings in, one on each side, one towards you, one towards me. Now we're going to put some thread wraps in front of them to make them stand up. And then figure eight, you know, you go around this wing in front of that one. Behind that wing, in front of that one, behind that wing, in front of this one, behind, and just go figure eight. So be around that, around that, around that. Around the wing, just figure eight it. Figure eight it around the wing and around the wing. Okay, what we have here is a cream colored or what would match the belly of this fly. And remember the fly when it's on the top of the water, the fish don't see that green on the top of the, they just see the belly. So you want to tie it to cream color, not a green. And uh, we tie this cream color. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, because I can't really show you this. I haven't figured out I could show it to you real well. But what you're going to do is take a little teeny piece of cream. And then you take a, just maybe five strands of black and put on top of that. Then you take another little strip of cream 
and you put it on top of that to hide the black. You want to hide the black in the middle of the cream and all this is deer hair or deer tail. So you get cream deer tail, little piece, little black, put another piece of cream on top and hide that black and get it rolled around in your fingers so you get that, uh, make sure that black's in the middle and you can't see it. Then you're going to tie it on. Now, when tying this on, you want to leave a gap behind the wing. And what you're going to do is you're going to start segmenting the body like a mayfly. You're going to tie it in here, and you're going to leave a little gap, tie in, a little gap, tie in, a little gap, and tie in, a little gap, and tie in. And then when you get to the last, as long as you want your body, you want to make a bunch of thread wraps around that. That'll secure all the other thread wraps down through. Then when you get done up there, you're going to come back down and hit them segments again. Wrap it here, down, wrap it here, down here, wrap it again, down here, wrap it again, until you were back where you started. Secure it well, down really well. Okay, now this is a clever idea here that only you can only hear here. I've never seen anybody do this. It works really well, though. It's going to take a very little bit of super glue and put in your thread and wrap up that very end part. And that'll keep your. If you do these in, and without this step, sometimes it'll like. The, that thread wraps will come off in flat thread. So you can use like head cement or super glue here and start that end and then it won't come apart and I super glue it a little way so it goes all the way back down to where the hook hook is so once you get back on the hook then I don't worry about it but up in that tail part I don't want them thread wraps to come loose or something when I'm casting it so it's a really cool idea and uh, works real well Now, we're going to fill in the, in front of that tail we tied in, that gap. We just don't want to drop hack on the hook. We want to fill in it, make it look so the fish, if you leave any gaps in the hack or whatever, and the fish come up underneath it, they don't see a hook there. It'll just they'll turn around and go back down. So we're going to fill that in with cream ice dubbing and add a little flash to this fly right in there around the wing.
Now we're going to tie in a grizzly hackle, engage it. Now you want it a little hair longer than you normally would on a dry fly. As you can see, I formed a head on that after I got done dubbing it. And then you want to go back in and tie in or tie in your hackle and then go back up to where you put your head in, tie that head in and wrap the hackle up to that point, tie it off and went finishing it. Now, to finish the fly, you want to put the UV treatment on it, hit it with the light, and this will finish your fly. And this makes a really solid fly when you UV treatment the uh, head magnet. Okay, now what we're going to do here is you're going to take all the white. Do not cut the black off because that's going to be your tail. Cut all the way off down to your last, almost, don't cut your thread off, but down to your last wraps of thread. And you just carefully go through it and then cut the white off. Don't cut the black off. Cut some more of the white off. And then when you get just a little bit of white left, you can pull out on the black and just cut the rest of it off. And this, the, the Green Drake has a really dark black tail. Hey, congratulate yourself. You tie a suspended tail green drake, and we are done with this fly. Now, we're going to take a closer look at it, turn the bright lights off so you can see the thread, thread wraps. Hey, I hope you liked our show. 
Like always, you can give it a thumbs up. And please, at the very end of this video, subscribe. It's very important. And go check out our Patreon page in the description below, or there'll be a link right here for you. Go check that out. It's a way we can make better videos and bring more videos to you and improve our quality. And there's a ton of really cool special features, like one-on-one -on -one conferencing, asking me questions, tying classes. You got to go check it out. It's really cool. And I hope you liked all that. I, was, I had a lot of fun making this episode, watching the... We, uh, we didn't have our video char our video recorder charged, but we ran into a, uh, there was a huge golden rainbow, and there was a bunch of kids trying to catch that, and we got to hang out with all the parents, and, you know, we gave them all of our business cards, so maybe we have future tires, fly fishermen, it's really cool when we get to make, uh, talk to younger generation people, and they become fly fishermen of our, uh, of our future, it's really cool. And, uh, I think that's it. You know, that was, was a lot of fun to make. And subscribe, check out our Patreon, and give this a thumbs up. And you all have a nice day. And I will see you next Sunday. Hey, welcome to the end of our video. where well, you can catch all of our fishing videos here, our tying videos here. A video just for you there and subscribe there and please do the more subscribers get the more cool features on YouTube will unlock for us like keep your lines wet out of trees and only give them fish a sore lip 